All right, listen up. I've had something on my mind for a long time, and I need to go through with it. I want to roll up to Jad and take him for everything he's got. I could go research for 100 hours on flicking things and get Jad done with green dehyde and a magic short bow, but what kind of 2006 experience is that? No one had tile markings or flicking methods back then, camping in there for 100 hours trying to get it at a low combat. No one knew how to do that. I'm going to confront Jad like a man, and for that, I need base 70 stats. I've been training melee a lot recently. I have 70s all around, and the last thing I need is range. Range training in this era was terrible. I mean, it probably wasn't as bad as I'm making it out to be, but people were able to buy their fucking arrows and bolts and shit. I've got to make them from scratch. So one of the best ways to train range is going to be through the Dorgashun crossbow, which is available after death to the Dorgashun. It's seven quests away. We've got things to do. So let's get after it and get our fire cape. March 22nd, 2006, Quest 101, in aid of Myrky. It's been over 30 quests since we've helped out this crew of misfits. I'm gonna take a wild guess. They need us to do literally everything for them while they sit back and stare at cave walls twiddling their thumbs. Last time we helped these dummies, we brought them a bunch of weapons, but it turned out we actually just let a super evil vampire overlord to them and got some of them killed. Now Velioff here wants me to find a suitable area for them to relocate. He mentioned Berg the Rot to the south, so I guess we're going there. Yeah, this also reminds me, before I take on the fight caves, I wanna get Barrows. And this is the long, disgusting route I have to take every trip. Ectofunctus, bank at Canifus, run underground, take this boat, and then run the rest of the way. It's gonna be a nightmare. Trips are gonna be hell. Okay, what are we working with? Jesus Christ. Already getting a pile of shit thrown at my face. Yup, this is, this is the place. They all love it here. Everyone's as happy as can be. I forgot to bring literally everything be right back. This guy is extremely hesitant to let me in. This whole town is just on edge 24-7 because they're down the street from Meyer Ditch. Meyer Ditch is a town that's ran by asshole vampires who keep humans and use them as food and, and sources for blood. They do terrible things in Meyer Ditch. You don't want to go there. These guys are avoiding it like the plague, even though clearly it's struck in here a long time ago. He's rambling on about blood sucking and how I want to steal their food. I'm going to prove that I'm a good guy by putting food in this chest. Yeah, I put a lobster in here. I did not sprinkle cyanide on it. No, why would you- why would you say that? Now that I've proved my trustworthiness with one singular lobster, he said that the inn over there would be a good place for us to hide. Let's assess the damage. I'm gonna take them here, and they're gonna be like, if you hated us, just let us know. You don't have to help us. <laughs> oh, God. There's really no other place. I, I have to clean all of this up. Hold on a second. Hear me out. What if this Myrky group just didn't have their HQ in shithole Mauritania where they could be infiltrated by vampires at any second? Just put it anywhere outside. Mauritania. In Verox somewhere. In the woods near Verox. I don't know. Would that be too logical? Am I making way too much sense there? You don't make a base behind enemy lines. It's, it's not good. And another thing while I'm bitching about everything, why did not at least one of them come with me to prepare their hideout? I can count on one hand the amount of times I'll ever come down here. They're gonna spend like a year, four years, five even, I don't know. Am I doing this as a favor? What am I doing? Why am I here? Last quest I was saving the world in a space-time continuum and now I'm my Finding shit off the floor. I found this note in the rubble just now. I have no idea what I'm reading. I don't know what it means. And to be honest, I really truly don't care. I will not tell anybody about what I just found. I am going to pretend I never saw it. Okay, now that I cleaned up the entire basement of rubble, I'm just gonna dump it all outside, right on the side of the walls. Why am I offering to fix the town? How did I put myself in this position? What did I miss? Did I sign like a contract or make a deal somewhere that I did not read? But yeah, I guess we're uh, we're gonna fix up the general store. Okay, just patch the hole up. Just Yep, just like that. Yeah, there we go. Can't even tell. Now he wants me to stock the store. There's like 50 homeless dudes right outside the building. Hire one. Hire one of them to do this for you. I have so much going on. You have no idea, dude. I just pickpocketed the local townspeople until I had enough to buy Bob's entire inventory of bronze axes. God, I love this. Now that I helped this guy, he wants me to go rebuild the bank. Who do they think I am? What do they think I'm capable of? Just half-ass hammers and planks on there. That looks kind of like a bank booth. That'll do. Yep, there we go. Am I smelling it? Why am I so close to it? This guy's like, we need someone to be a banker. We don't have a banker. And I'm like, you fucking do it. And so now he's the banker. Look at his hat. Why are you so tiny? You were not like this 15 minutes ago. What happened? Am I okay? You know, I really feel like nobody living here made any sort of effort to turn this back into a civilization. Dude, I'm complaining so much about this. I'm going crazy. Whatever, they have heat now. Uh-oh, cutscene. Oh, look at this guy. I want to swing my big fucking hammer around, boss. Let me swing it around. Oh, Gatorinx just got his wife threatened. This vampire guy is making him go around collecting blood. Since I made that fire, they smell the smoke. So now they're coming here and gonna cause an absolute ruckus. Sorry, everybody. I thought you'd like some fire. <laughs> it was cold. Everyone's gonna die now because of me. Okay, they're in the general store. I That's where I draw the line. Get the fuck out of my store. I own, like, 
like everything in stock. I stocked this. I fixed this. Blood dripping from the ceiling. What the hell is this? Scatterings, I don't give a shit if your wife is being hung upside down in a cellar right now. You're gonna get a mop, clean this shit up, get this barrel the fuck out of my store, and then you're gonna apologize to me on your knees. Okay, actually though, I keep talking to him and he's not, he's not attacking me or anything. These guys aren't attacking me either. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do. They're draining this guy's blood. Oh, cutscene. Perfect. We did it. Okay, now we murder. Oh, oh, Velioff, you're just in time. Allow me to step to the side so you can assist me. Or I can just go fuck myself. Yeah, you handle him. Let us slay these dogs. Dude, chill out. There he goes. What, why is he holding the hammer up like that? Did I win? Did we do it? Hello? One sec. I don't know what to do. He's not moving. I'm gonna step on him. He wants you to- He wants me to slit his throat, dude. Whoa. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> this does a 180 flip. <laughs> this place sucks, man. Why you like it here? Veliav's just fucking standing on his chest. Uh, just like his wife used to do. <laughs> He's coughing a lot. He's not gonna make it. I'm stealing his hammer. I'm just diving into a deep abyss of insanity. Gonna start drinking the blood in front of them. <laughs> you taste good. We're gonna go back to the hideout and get everyone here safely. Why is it that I can take the boat here for free, but the second I want to go back, the dude's like, better give me 10 GP. Because it's his Fucking boat. Belly off, I'm back, man. Belly off, take your little pants off for me. Oh, belly off, don't take your pants off, man. Come on, belly off. Oh my god, I just realized something. Your pants are on. Oh. Uh, should be off. I've had the fucking orbs on this whole time. Oh. Uh, Byrolees, how could you do this to us? Come on, Byrolees, you're supposed to despise your fucking life. Yeah, I've got to escort this guy to Drizzle. We're going to go through the swamp, we're going to take a route, and I'm pretty sure I was supposed to bring things for him, and I didn't. I'm just going to see how it goes. What's the worst that can happen? You know? What's up, pussies? Oh my god, they just multiplied. Focus the one that's attacking him. All right, oh, there's no, two of them attacking fine. him, and they're all attacking him. Yeah, oh fine. my god. Please get off. He's retreating. He just got destroyed. Let's try that one more time. I have since learned that the shorter route is actually the easier one anyway, so I'm just gonna do that one. Put these on, asshole. I don't really need anything to get... Put these on! What are you doing? He doesn't take them unless I give it to him before we leave? Oh my god, that he just strafed around it. They're learning. Food is the last thing on my mind right now. Clearly you forget where you are, what universe you're a part of. Yeah, badly beaten. Yeah, yeah, good. Good. Guess we're trying it again. I love this. Put your armor on. Take the armor. Take all this food. I know it's gonna be the last thing on your mind when we're in there. But here's the thing. When you put food in your mouth, you heal. You don't die because you're a RuneScape character and that's how this fucking place works. There we go. There's one. Thank God he's eating things. He's actually almost out though. He has, he has four left. I would really love if he just stood behind me or something. He just ran out of food. Okay, thank God. We gotta talk to Drizzle. This is the longest quest of my entire life. I would do one small favor three times before I do this one again. I'm asking him about a Vandis, some dude who, who was a big hero back in the day apparently. I'm threatening him to tell me about the secret library in here. Okay, gave me a key. Let's go pretend to read books. Vandis has some sort of rod thing that's able to beat vampire dudes. Buried near his grave. Let's go get, find that and do something cool with it. I need a mithril bar. I don't have a mithril bar. I love that. Oh, it's gonna be so fucking embarrassing when you have to go fucking get this mithril bar. I bet you're gonna make a little, little rap about it. You're gonna be like, yeah. yeah, I need a mithril bar, so I made a mithril bar. Then I took the mithril bar and I put it in the inside of my ass. Now I took the Mr. Bar and I put it in the canvas bar. He served moonlight me, yeah, he got that lead. Soft clay in your ass, a wet word. Soft clay in my ass, wet word. Yeah, it's kind of sticky, wet word. Absolutely. Mix it soft. Bars. Dude, please. Uh. I'm so close to being done with this quest. I, I'm so <laughs> fucking close to being done. I just need a, a second. Oh, Kevin, he's close. Keep going. So you take the metal bar when you turn it into a silver bar. Then you take the silver bar and shove it up a vampire. Okay, I've got the mold of the rod. Now let's go to a furnace and turn it into the actual thing. There we go. Now we're gonna enchant this bad boy. Oh yeah, just like that. Whoa, that was pretty cool. It's vibrating and glowing. Cool. I've got a dunk it in here and then we're done. I need a fucking roll. Oh my fucking God. Oh my God. I'm gonna have a stroke right here, right in front of you guys. <laughs> yeah, you love us. <laughs> Man, you fucking love us. Hey, rake that mushroom patch if you know what's good for you. Blow me, swamp. I dunked it. It's it's glowing. I did it. I'm done. I just need to go give this to Velioff, and we're done. Velioff, really? I, I just don't want to talk. Just take this, and then let's just go our separate ways for like seven years, at least. Yes, thank you. You know, I hope you enjoy this hideout I made for you. Um, fuck yourself. All right, we got stuff to do.
April 3rd, 2006, Quest 102, A Soul's Bane. This is a very trippy quest. It's like a psychedelic journey. This lady Lana is sitting outside of a weird abyss, a crack in the earth that goes right down to hell. Man, what's this big hole about? She's asking me if I've seen her son, Tolna. She hasn't seen her own son in 25 years, so she has no idea what he looks like. Think your son's fine after 25 years? I've got bad news for you, he's probably dead. I'm not really sure what clues has led her to this rift, connecting it to her lost son from 25 years ago, but I'm gonna go investigate. Because I'm a good ass guy and don't you forget it. Why should I, Tolna, be trapped in such a wretched place? Well, there we go. The mystery's been solved, but I guess that means we'd have to do something about it. I wish it was like, why should I, John, be trapped in this wretched place? I'd be like, nope, it's John, not not Tolna. Wrong kid, quest complete. So I guess this entire rift has different stages in it. Each task is symbolic of some sort of shitty thing going on in, in this kid's brain. So there's monsters down here. We gotta pick the right weapon out and just start wiping out the monsters. Once our rage level hits max, then we'd move on to the next room because we've conquered anger. I remember loving this because you just hit fat numbers on these things. Instead of 45, I'll check back in when I'm maxed out in my pissed off level. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm too angry. I'm too angry. Whoa. What the fuck? What just happened? Oh, I just hit a 200. Sit down. Now we're in a flashback of when Tolna ran away. I'm tired of your pathetic outlook. That's pretty deep for this kid. He looks like he's four years old. See, kids, don't run away from home. Your brain will turn into a hell acid trip for 25 years. Be nice to your parents. Now we're in the room of Fear. Mom, Dad, help me. Yeah, they're not here, but it's me, Barberly. So I just have to look in these dark, scary holes. There's like jump scares and stuff. It's really spooky. Oh God, I'm so scared. Hello. Oh, okay. Hello? No? Okay, perfect. Hello? Okay, that's three in a row that have not had anything in it. Please, something just pop out at me. Why? This game is broken, please. Thank you. Okay, I just need to kill this thing and then do it five more times. Sit down, blow me, get smited. I win. What's that kid doing? <laughs> See you later, idiot. I remember this one. This is the worst one. The confusion room. There's five monsters and four of them aren't real. Like I just hit that thing and it didn't do any damage because it's not a real fucking thing. So I have to find the real one, kill it, and then that gets rid of one of the doors and then I have to find another one that's actually real. It's just a process of elimination. It takes so long. It feels like I've been in here for seven hours straight. It's down to these two assholes. Please. Oh, thank God. Oh, wait, there's three doors. I'm actually not done. Dude, thank God. I've done nothing wrong. Shut up, kid. What's the point? No one will ever help me. I wish. Last room. The room of hopelessness. These dudes are crawling around. You've got to kill them three times each. They just get smaller every time. <laughs> Settled? Shut the fuck up. All right, last one. Oh, did I just get flashbanged? What was that? A bridge of hope. A what? Oh, I'm guessing this is a bridge of hope from all the storybooks. Uh, okay, so that's clearly Tolna. Son, is that you? What? That's his dad? Why am I here? What is ha How did he get here? Is there a back door? There's no way he did what I just did. Clearly Tolna here is now a Medusa octopus abomination from hell. Oh, here I am saving the day. All right, come on, dad. Let's get him together or just stand in the back. Don't worry. I'm used to it. There's one, there's two, and there's fuck you. Oh, what do we have here? Yeah, not so tough now, are you? What? What happened? Oh, okay. You're going to pull that card. It was 30 seconds ago. You had three heads. You tried to obliterate me. You were looking for a, a civilization that used to be down here? You were like four years old. You had no idea about anything. Son, you're just gonna stand back there, dude? What do you- Well, I'm a hero. Ow. Okay, he's gonna chill out here. I don't know if he wants to get that second boot. He said that I can go down there and train whenever I want to, but I'm gonna uh, never do that. Thanks a lot. So as you can tell, the last two quests nearly drove me to insanity. To make matters worse, the next quest was a two for one. On April 10th, 2006, Rag and Bone Man and Rag and Bone Man 2 both released on the same day. It's known as one of the most tedious quests in the whole game. Basically, there's this old man that lives up in the hills. He collects bones. I don't know why he does. I don't ask questions. But he requires the bones to be polished. You have to go and get the bones fresh off a corpse, dump them in vinegar, and then finally use the pot boiler to do some sort of polishing thing with it. I don't know. It's just a very tedious process. So as I was getting ready to start this journey, this happened. Got the rat bones, got the guard bones, got the witch bones, got the hill giant bones, and I got the bat bones, and I give it to the guy, and he give me the bones, sag, yeah, he like that bone, sag, yeah, he likes that bone, sag, yeah, he give me that, now I put it on my back, now I got a sack on my back, yeah, he loves the bones, yeah, he loves those bones, yeah. Dude, honestly? Bars. You like that? Yeah, I did, dude. I should make a song about Ragged Bowman. You can use some of the lines I just used if you want. God, you are so generous and helpful all the time.
Old man in the hills living all alone Out of touch for a while I can tell by his tone Asking where I travel, asking where I roam Notice on his back he's got a bag full of bones To me and you, the world is near and far To this guy, it's just a fucking graveyard No one's ever talked to him, I can't imagine how it feels Now I'm a dog fetching bones and hunting for a kill Tell me why not rock shoes, runes, or even coins Books, wine, art, is there a club that you can join? You got me running around to all the world zones I don't understand Understand the fascination with bones But that's his collection, a dead guy affection To you it's remains, to him an erection I don't really get it but I never ask questions I'm just for the people and I don't learn my lesson I gotta get the bones, he's all alone I wanna go home, I gotta get the bones I really don't like this I don't wanna get in bones like this A rat, bat, frog, unicorn, and goblin Monkey, ram, goddamn, the list is never stopping Worst of all, that's not all I had to do This shit goes on and on, man, there was a fucking part two I had to get an ogre, joker, zogre, and moger Moss, giant, lizard, experimented, vulture Bird, snake, troll, dagger, not and the dragon Wolf, rabbit, does he even know what he's asking? Oh god, it didn't drop it I'm just gonna have to slaughter a bunch of bunnies, I hate this You're a monster I hate this <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't know <laughs> I hope no one sees me or I'ma go to jail not to mention now, I'm definitely going to hell I didn't know if I was done, it was hard to tell And holy shit, my bag is starting to smell Collected all the bones, that's 27 dead All the slaughter and murder is spinning my head Here you go, man, for you to carry on your sack And as for my reward, he took it off his back I gotta get the bones, he's all alone I wanna go home, I gotta get the bones I don't